What if I told you that Porsche is working on a hybrid version of the 911 GTS and that it could have more power than the regular GTS, but without sacrificing performance? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it might not be. In this video, we'll show you some photos of a mysterious 911 that could be the hybrid GTS we've been waiting for. The Porsche 911 GTS is one of the most popular variants of the iconic sports car. It offers a balance between the base Carrera and the hardcore GT3 with more power, sharper handling, and sportier styling. The current GTS has a twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter engine that produces 473 horsepower and can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. We think it's an updated version of the 911 GTS with a hybrid system. We don't know much about it yet, but we can speculate based on what we see and what we know. First of all, we can expect some cosmetic changes to match the facelifted 911 that's coming soon. These include new headlights with amber turn signals, a larger center grille, and squared-off corner vents. We can also see a big fixed wing at the back, which could be part of a new aero package for the GTS. But what about the hybrid system? Well, according to our sources, it won't be a plug-in hybrid like the Panamera, which can run on electric power alone and reach up to 700 horsepower. Instead, it will be a mild hybrid system that focuses more on performance than efficiency. It will use a small electric motor and a battery to provide extra boost when needed, similar to what Ferrari does with its SF90 straight ale. How much extra power will it have? That's hard to say, but we can guess that it will be somewhere between 500 and 550 horsepower, depending on how much weight the hybrid system adds. That would make it faster than the regular GTS, but not as fast as the Turbo or the GT3. It would also make it more responsive and fun to drive, especially in tight corners where the electric motor can help with torque vectoring. When will we see it? Well, we don't have an official confirmation from Porsche yet, but Insider Source will see a full reveal before the end of 2023. That means that we could have a hybrid 911 GTS on the roads by early 2024. So what do you think of this possible hybrid 911 GTS? Do you think it's a good idea or a bad one? Do you think it will be worth the extra cost and complexity? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more car news and reviews. Thanks for watching.